that South Africa has become once again the so-called capital of demonstrations or unrest in, uh, in recent times. Mm-hmm. What happened in December of 2013 has been a watershed for the labor movement because it was a special congress of NUMSA, uh, the National Union of Metal Workers of South Africa, mm-hmm. uh, where they've adopted uh, really, really radical resolutions. NUMSA has decided to form a new uh, trade union federation Mm -hmm. uh, and at the same time, of course, automatically break with the Congress of South African Trade Unions Mm -hmm. where they have been the majority union for many years, you know. With that decision, NUMSA basically decided that they will be willing to go and organize workers in other sectors as well, Mm -hmm. specifically in the mining sector. key resolution there has been the formation of a united front to bring together workplace and community struggles. Okay. These are all different formations that you know rooted themselves in these kinds of ongoing struggles. So the struggles on a very broad front or broad range of them mm-hmm. uh, became like a platform or a nurturing terrain or grounds for all these different formations to emerge. The, the significance of these resolutions is that the three resolutions, breaking away with Kassat and forming a new federation, forming a united front to bring workplace and community struggles together, and the formation of a workers' party via the notion of a, of a movement for socialism, they're really, really very bold steps on the side of NUMSA in trying to give leadership uh, to you know a very incipient movement in South Africa to break free or form a kind of leftist regroupment or left formation uh, for the further development of the South African Revolution. Mm-hmm. You look at, uh, you know, most of the people who are members in the leadership of the ANC are people who are basically bourgeois owners of huge amounts of capital. Mm-hmm. And so it is this kind of internal tension and conflict within the ANC between an emerging bourgeois class, uh, and a black bourgeois class, and then certain vestiges of the old, uh, the, its old relationships with, with, with the working class, you know. And what came to the fore in 2013 basically was this kind of idea to split.